It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2011, recorded Thursday, October 24th, 2024. The eyes have it. episode of the Gizwiz DD has a busy board for kids plus a cheap umbrella. Some what the heck is it? Another Halloween gadget for me plus your videos all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now. Now and here he is. Our birthday gadgeteer, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? You're doing great. Happy birthday in between episodes. Thank you. Th you thank you. And, and Dennis is, is uh, uh, October 30th. Yes. It's, uh, it's it, y'all are easy to remember because y'all are right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 <laughs> and... Today I was going to the closet to get a shirt and I said, well, Chad always wears t-shirt. I'm just going to leave my t-shirt on. And of course, now you have a shirt on, but I have on my, uh, um, my little shelter oh. little rescue t-shirt. That is so cute. I will and cut over to you uh, in just a second. I, I, little, no. little shelter is a uh, rescue place out on Long Island, a no-kill shelter. It, this is the shelter that uh, you donate all of the gadgets to that that, that you almost don't use. all the yep they they come by like three or four times a year and uh i give them lots of stuff for their auctions fantastic so, that's great yeah. the chat room pointed out that we look a little bit like christmas <laughs> yes we do <laughs> we do uh oh, i should go on yes i was going to tell you what we did for our birthday uh i miss boating so much I said to Dennis, let's take the circle line around Manhattan. And so it was a gorgeous day. Yeah, you can start that. Okay. That's Ellis Island, Statue of Liberty. I just took uh, a, a couple of stills. And then as we're boarding the boat, and, and you know, you should probably just stop it there for a minute. Okay. okay. You can, can you stop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as we board the boat, I'm walking up the gangplank. And there's a little sign as you step on the boat that says the around Manhattan cruise today will not go around Manhattan. <laughs> what? what? What exactly? I said to the crewmen, I said, what are you, what are you talking about? That's the reason. Yeah. He said, you said to the crewmen, to you know what they call that illegally? Uh, fraud. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So he said, it's something to do with tides. They'll explain it to you. Okay. Um, so the, the, the guy who is going to do the tour comes on and says, uh, yes, you, you're seeing and hearing that there, the boat is not going around Manhattan. He said, it may or may not be true. Here's the deal. We are at high tide. <laughs> the East River has, we're going under 30 bridges. Four bridges are non-movable, very low bridges, and the captain isn't sure if the tide is going to be high, so high, we can't fit under the, the low ones. <laughs> we are going to go into the East River and determine it at the last minute, and so you could start running the video there. <laughs> And and if it's terror, if we can't make it under the bridge, we will go back and go further up the Hudson. No matter how, how it is, you will have a, a two and a half hour cruise. So here we are in the East River. We are coming to our first low bridge. Oh my so gosh. Low, they asked as many people as possible to go to the bow to get the cabin a little bit lower. <laughs> oh my to, gosh. Yeah. And then you figure there's uh, a couple spotlights up there and 
Oh my gosh, this looks like inches of clearance. I, inches, yes. It, it turned out to be probably the most exciting Circle Line cruise I've ever been on and, and many other people. So that's bridge one. This is bridge two. Um, I'm surprised and, I don't and, see any paint at the bottom of that bridge. Just no, some other I people don't. attempted. <laughs> yes. And then I'm thinking, I got to take a picture of this because this bridge has more superstructure underneath it, a lot of beams hanging down, and I'm I'm waiting to hear scraping on the roof. Right? And we uh we make it. Oh my. Oh my and gosh. The, this the final bridge which is also kind of like are we <laughs> I can't believe y'all are just allowed to do this. Honestly, this looks so dangerous. Well, then it's like, what's the worst? Yeah, the, go on. The worst that would happen is you get stuck under the bridge and you wait two hours till the tide goes out. Anyway. So. And then the most fun is the Amtrak swing bridge, which they have to coordinate with because there are 16 trains a day over this one track. Wow. And that track, swings out of the way for us to pass and you can see we can see right up the this track goes the Amtrak to Chicago to Albany and to uh, Canada all leaves on that one track wow now wow. we're back in, <laughs> we're back on Hudson River where it is uh very windy it was it was a freaky day it was 78 degrees blazing sun and now we're heading toward the George Washington Bridge and uh, oh, the, there's a museum up there called the Cloisters and I never knew this, the tour guide said not only did the Rockefellers build the Cloisters they bought the Palisades property opposite the Cloisters so the view would never be blocked with buildings <laughs> looking over the Hudson <laughs> And my final shot here actually did bring tears to my eyes. This is the marina we all were evicted from three years ago this month. Wow. So you'll be coming back to a brand new marina in 2025. And as you can see, nothing's been done. In the yeah. background, that light structure is where we had 10 meetups. That's the rotunda. But since the highway is being replaced, there is no, there's nothing there. It's, it's just those arches and it's all hollow behind it because they're rebuilding everything. Yeah. So, yeah, right there, that, that is their rotunda. And that is the boat basin, all that wood uh, right there. That's, that's the marina. Yikes. Where well, I, I am so boat. happy that you got to get back out on the water. Oh, I, it was great. It was great. And, and the fact, I, I, I wish I had thought to go up and, and thank the captain because I would have been so disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. If you couldn't have actually gone around. I, uh, that is so freaky seeing that boat that close. <laughs> to industrial structure like yes. that like yeah. holy moly yeah well you know the circle line goes around twice a day during the fall and maybe more days during the summer and those captains i guess they just know when they're approaching it what's going to happen you know um you know certainly Thank God no one was stowing away laying on the roof. <laughs> right? They would have been scraped off in a second. But it's yeah. very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, before we move on to the gadgets, I want to remind yes. everybody that our Halloween special is coming up. And I encourage everybody to send in something um, to our virtual meetup. Uh, it can just be a photo, a video, a fun note. Uh, we encourage videos. We love videos. Uh, and it can kind of be 
almost about anything. We love it if you show off your neighborhood, uh, decorations you see nearby, what your family is doing uh, for Halloween, and then of course any well wishes. You know, this is kind of our virtual meetup that we have every year or so. So, you know, virtually saying hello, and then email that to mail at gizwiz.tv. Try to put Halloween in the subject line. Uh, yeah, or, if you can, if you can. If and you the can. way we're doing it is next Wednesday, there'll be this show, this regular show. Uh, Chad and I will both have our Halloween decorations up because, <laughs> because right after our regular show, there'll be maybe a 10 minute break. And then we're going to have our virtual annual meetup, which we've turned into a Halloween special because it's a lot of fun. Uh, for people to show what they were wearing, you could you can send in what you wore ten years ago. Anything anything Halloween themed, we're we'd love to see. Absolutely. Uh, so mail at gizwiz TV. And uh, you, the places to watch it are live on Halloween, uh, just after the show, or it'll be hosted on our YouTube channel after the fact if you uh, want to see that. So please Perfect. email the show with that. Let's jump into some gadgets. Okay, gadget number one right here. We've had one of these in the past. They're great fun. They're Montessori toys. So they're educational toys. And this one is the Montessori police car little busy board. All right. Now the description says ages one to four. The box says three plus. Uh, okay, it looked really interesting. And, oh, I forgot. A little slit thing. Now this is going to be... Hmm, it's going to be the closest thing I ever had to owning a car. Okay? <laughs> if you're a fan of the show, you know that I've had 26 boats in my life, but I never owned a car. Oh, oh, I like this already. Oh, look at this. Two ignition keys, a something cable, <laughs> horn. Uh, you know what? Let me just see. Hang it up. Hang this up. thing uh -huh. is, is wood. One. It is cr a crazy I hybrid. Guess these are traffic lights. Yes. N have to put no batteries in sharp it. edges. Um, Oh, these are the ignition keys. Oh, this is great. All right, so and oh, the notice, dreaded battery box. <laughs> except uh, okay, what machine is, screws. You know, normally camera. they have Mickey Mouse okay. yeah. sharp screws. Uh, they are. And this is you know, rather long machine the screws. It, the thing is so well made. Screwdrivers are the most evil. Of all toys. Of all tools. Most evil of all tools. tools. It's because they change. When you need a slot screw, <laughs> what, mark, mark my word, you need a slot screw, every driver you pick up will be a Phillips. And if you need a Phillips, <laughs> no kid is going to accidentally take those screws out. Okay. All right. We can leave the back off for the demo. And I got a different, they're still Amazon batteries, but for the last two gadgets, I had to put the batteries in with a screwdriver to press down on the spring. These, oh, these physically look smaller. And if you hold them side by side, these are physically a touch smaller. They, they are a millimeter the smaller batteries. and they the fit yellow. right into the battery compartment. Now, probably your toddler will not be doing this part. All right. Unless they're and really advanced. You would screw the battery. <laughs> yes, part. exactly. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving it already. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't take much to entertain the gizwiz. All right. Um, gears. Police car. Oh, this is great. Now, let's just do anything. Oh, it just... All right, so you have no control over the traffic light, just on and off, but you get the red caution and green. Does this work as a horn? 
So ah. Very, very. Sh you know, it's probably good because you don't want the parents to go crazy. The kid can hear. Ah. In the back of the car, <laughs> um, hand this to them. <laughs> what's this do? Oh, okay. That's the headlights. Oh, wow. This does. Oh, it lights up the ah. windshield. Okay. It's and like an it's, indoor it's cabin lights light. Lights on inside the car. Yeah, and it looks like a police woman. Yeah. Boy, I'm loving this. What does this do? Oh, the brake lights? Yes. Oh, that's the rear light. Okay. Yeah. The rear red light. I want light. to say stern lights, this? but no, you with the, the... Oh, what does it do? Oh, it's doing the, the speed of the... Oh, okay. Yes, it, this is it turns... The blink is on and off Turning and adjusts the speed of them. on the roof. You know, I could pass as a four-year-old because yeah. I can't really well <laughs> Give this, me my degree sure because I, tr I feel uh, accomplished yeah. as well. Cable. What does that do? Oh! A different type of oh, light. Oh, that's clever. Yes. So the cable One is the windshield. Up the interior. And the red. other is the cabin light or the inside right. of a car light. And then we can light up the headlights. And then we can light up the interior. All right. And then. Oh, the ignition. The traffic light. And we have yes, here. Yep. Ah, and ah. that's to start the car. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the key actually has a, a proper side. Oh. <laughs> I hold it a little closer to the camera. Can you hear the engine running? That is that crazy. That is neat. Out of my Don't way. <laughs> I think this is great. Also, for driving at night, you have your headlights, <laughs> your blinkers. It's just hard to determine how fast you can go through that light on green. Montessori <laughs> makes a lot of clever toys like this. This is one of a series of this three. Is the police car. And they also have... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, the oh, a dinosaur. dinosaur. This, this sort of yeah, doesn't make like any sense at all. Much, because dinosaur doesn't have traffic lights. Nah. Uh, so he can do a taxi. Wait. Which is pretty much the same thing, except it's a taxi. Uh, the police car, which is what I bought. And then the dinosaur. I don't know why the dinosaur. Dinosaur had, <laughs> uh, you know, the dinosaurs. I don't know a lot about animals, but I don't think dinosaurs have headlights and a horn. <laughs> uh, it's 20 bucks. Uh, only 83 ratings with 4.3. The other great thing, it's easy to find a parking space. <laughs> that is so interesting because the, the wooden aspect of it and like its physicality is so, you know, what I imagine a three the aged uh, toy uh, to be yeah but then all the electronics and the buttons they seem like so kind of out there but in this it all seems to work just perfectly like no I it, really it, like it, this. It, it is so clever and they also said it works well as a fidget toy for people who need something to be doing 100 play with this yeah 100 yeah. i mean that those the tactile clicking i it just it's like with you watching you play it. It was like watching someone else uh, like pop bubble wrap. Like I just want to do that. Yeah, too. yes, like, yes, I yes. Also, yeah. want to get in there and play around with the switches and buttons. And and, like and I thought, to, on top of it, that you can vary the speed of the blinkers on the top of the police car. Mm -hmm. That's that's really neat for twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. And and I I mean I feel like uh that that is the perfect age you'd be fascinated with that type of thing. Uh, oh the, the dial, what does this dial do? I'm only three years old. Let me figure this out. Oh my gosh, the mm. lights are going faster. Like I just like that a lot. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Lots oh, of you know what? I just thought I this is really a way kids can develop their motor skills. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. This could be yeah, good yeah, for yeah. their criminal defense. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for any kids that want to become 
dinosaurs. Um, yeah, I agree. I, I, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense at all. Not at all. None at all. Maybe the volcano erupts faster. <laughs> uh, you know what is... Is it there seems... another dinosaur in the way you blow your horn? I don't get it. That seems silly. For sure, the uh, police car seems like the best option. I the, think so, too. The I other two so seem too. like like they would really badly wanted to make a variant and just <laughs> fit it in somehow. The police car yes, seems perfect. Yeah. Um, and not that expensive, uh, $20 uh, on Amazon uh, right here. So, yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty good price. I like. I it. was going to be so depressed if you went there and it was fifty percent off, like last week. I think every. I looked. I, every, I did look. I was like, wait a second, let me look at all this. I looked. <laughs> okay. okay. But no, just twenty. Okay, gadget number two. Gadget number two is uh, a bit of a what the heck is it? Let's it's take not a really peek. A what the heck is it? It's what's special about it. Ah! All right, everybody knows it's an owl. Yeah. But what's different what does about it do? this owl? I think it's the slots on the Is top it a of new head. toothpick bird? <laughs> well, it just wow. a toothpick. A dead see, giveaway. Dennis could see uh, that you couldn't uh, see. The owl. Ah. Coin bank. Uh, um. That's cute. All right, from La Free or Leffy. All right. The money counting bank. Now, there is a way to cheat. And the reason I know there's a way to cheat is, uh, let me, let me show you what I have in here. It's, uh, it shows 11 cents. All right. Now, it shows 11 cents. Let us, okay, the key. You got three of these because they certainly look like they're easy to break, okay? Is is it is the key actually keyed? Oh yeah. It go, it seems to go in one way. Huh? Oh, the key looks kind of okay. crazy. Okay. Open it. All right. Uh, it says eleven cents. Wait a second. And there's only six cents in there. How can that be? It does it have problems right. with dimes and nickels too? <laughs> Um, I had a problem with that when I was younger. All right, so this is how it can be. <laughs> it's easy to open, but so hard to close. Let me see. These tabs have to come in. Okay. Then it closes, and then you There's have to little tabs that have to in place. Okay. be closed before you can right, put it so back. the reason, I guess it's going to be, uh, the reason... It says eleven cents. Is I started with a nickel. It is, it's showing and up. I didn't again. know the same. how hard to press, and so I pushed down a little and then back up again, and then I read in the instructions that when you put the coin in, put the coin in and continue pressing. That if you put the coin in a third of the way, remove it and put it back in again it'll register the coin again. So that's what happened. Oh. I put a nickel in, and I thought, am I pressing too hard? So I took it out, pressed it in, and so it, that's why the nickel registered twice, and the bank is showing 11 cents. So, kids, if you want your mom to think you put all the money in the bank, <laughs> And she gave you four quarters. Just take one quarter, ah, 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 dip it four times, and it'll show a buck. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can get it to register the right way. Oh, you know what? This is so perfect because this morning I got an envelope from Chad. Ah. And it said, Dick, um, we got paid this month. Yep, yep, I uh, sent so it over. This is good. That's all, right. all of it. I, and I can deposit wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's what I have to so send you half. To bank. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I did uh, send you all, all of that. Yeah, strangely, you're right. Strangely. Yeah, send half of that back. <laughs> Look at this. Did, uh, I typed it, it. There is no description of what the bank can take on it. No way it could take a half dollar. But I typed it in uh, questions about this product. And 
The answer came up, takes pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, and <laughs> dollar, silver dollars. The Sacagawea coins I seen a and dollar in years. Yeah. This Does is me, Anthony. Take yeah. Foreign yes, coins. Yes, I think. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Let's just try that out. What does the bank do with... Who is that? Is that like Queen Elizabeth or somebody? Uh, yeah, matter. that definitely looks like... It looks like, it looks like a... So this is uh, yeah, a foreign coin. Something what I will got it do? One, one, the mad trip to Oh, it doesn't London. even want to take it. It... It thinks it it's a dollar. It's so funny. It took it. It didn't add anything. How does uh, it look know? again, Dick. Register. All right, that's clever. Now a quarter. Because I just looked. This it is just like said a math dollar. Quiz. Now, now, kids. It did. We it have. Took it yeah. buck. Oh, you know what? Did it go in as a dollar? <laughs> it did go in as a dollar. Now we have a dollar eleven. All right, so you could fake the bank. Dollar eleven. We're going to put in twenty-five cents. Dennis, how much will we have? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Thirty-six. We dollar eleven. We're $1. adding a quarter. A dollar thirty-five. Uh, dollar thirty-six. Dollar no, thirty-six. That's okay. good. And That's we're pushing. Good. We're pushing. <laughs> oh, it did oh. it! It showed the twenty-five and then added it. A dollar thirty-six. Yeah. How does it know? And we're going to add two more you know, dimes. It, How it, much is that? The only thing okay. I can think of is thirty-six forty-six. The mention of the Oh, very coin. good. Okay. And that's why yeah. you have to force it in. I'm shocked because that it, you it, could it, put it, it, ha it halfway in oh, this, yeah. and out, it's and it'll to, still know the little, coins. Are hard to get yes. In there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> on that. Dollar fifty-six. All right. By width. Yeah, you'd think by well, width. I think this is pretty neat. Let's see how much it is. I showed you the locking key. It takes two AAA batteries, not included. And you know what? This display... Just stays on. I've had the bank for like more than a week now, and it's still lit up. So I guess it takes so little to uh, to, to run that display. Uh, okay, 20, uh, 20 bucks. Wow, 1,800 ratings, 4.3. And there are other versions from this company. Uh, there is a... The Owl Bank, a Disco Bank, all right, and a, it looks like a soccer ball bank. <laughs> now, you would think I would have bought the Disco version with the blinking lights. Actually, this, this changed but, from the first time I looked at it. Ah. Oh, you know what? It changed. Oh, no, that's a piggy version. All right. That also got uh, a good rating. Wow, 2,690 people bought that version. You know what? I think the disco version is gone. It is. Uh, it was a blinking, it was a clear bottle with blinking lights. Uh, and for some reason, it, it got a terrible rating. So that's why I didn't buy the disco version. I think this one's very cute. Wow. <clears throat> I, that is... Uh, I'm I'm impressed. I'm I'm pretty impressed with that little guy. Um, what is got my brain thinking is if you you half press a coin in and then pull it out before it gets the full width of the coin, you said that it counted it, right? Or did you like push you it? You know what? You know what? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm curious how it how it counts. My yeah. first, I, I, I'm I'm my brain just wants to know. Uh, yeah. My guess is the width of the coin, but I think so. I think so too. That doesn't seem possible if you can pull it back out. Because oh, I see. I see. I would I see. think it would have to hit the absolute maximum of the width of the coin. By that point, it would go through to the other side of the product. So uh, that's why I'm so so curious about um, how it does it. I'm, I've been reading it and. My other thought is maybe some capacitive sensor. It can tell how dense the coin is to tell the difference between. That's the only thought that I have. But um, anyway. Yeah, it's very clear. No matter what, how uh, it looks clever. Almost unbreakable, it says. Yeah. Yeah. This and, and, is cute. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's the price. Uh, 20 bucks. There's a oh, 15% off Oh, a little discount. Okay. Yeah, a little, a little discount. 
Uh, and then I did see down here, they did have some text uh, that it will do a penny, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, oh, a half I, yeah. dollar, and a dollar. A dollar. Which with no spaces in between. So they got to be pushed <laughs> in there really quickly. <laughs> penny, nickel, dime, a quarter, half dollar, a dollar. Um, yeah. I'm I am so intrigued by uh, all of it. I think it's uh, super cute, uh, cute little thing, and um, uh, I the, the everything seems to work just great. So yeah, can't yeah, can't yeah, it's great. Uh, okay, next gadget. One more gadget, and this is it. So when I picked up this package, I thought I was going to say, "What do you think is in it?" When I picked it up, then I said, "What did you do? Get a new umbrella?" <laughs> It is an umbrella, okay? So why do I have an umbrella? Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you why. Is I I lose a lot of umbrellas. Well, the last press event I went to, you know, it's raining when you go, when you come out it's not raining, and I got home, I go, oh God, I left the totes umbrella. So I thought, I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy the cheapest umbrella. I'm gonna buy several. So I can go around losing them and <laughs> let the person who finds it use it. Okay, so I went and I found the $9 umbrella, okay? The Yo Bra <laughs> mini umbrella, okay? And this is it. It comes in, God, like a dozen different colors. Nine bucks, all right? I normally pay about 30 bucks for it. And then when it came, and it came in this nice case, I thought, you know what? This is already nice. Yeah. Uh, and then I said, yeah, but when you open it, it might fall apart. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Warranty card. Whoa. <laughs> now you're talking. Well, you know, thanks. I'm you, if this works. You burg. <laughs> you burg. Also, you know, this makes way more sense than those little sleeves that umbrellas come in. Yeah. Those, I usually just throw those away. I figure it's easier to throw it away than to lose it. Okay? That case even seems a bit absorbent. If you put it in there, Velcro, wet. It's probably not Velcro. Uh, hmm. Oh, someone said you can get it at the yeah, dollar the store. Be, is that, oh. Is, is it big enough for you to get under? Is it big enough that you can even open it? You know what? I can't open it. Well, I guess. Oh, okay. Is this going to lock open? You know what? I'm beginning to think this is not. I be. could not at first get this to stay I know it's open. Bad luck, right? To open them in, indoors. Right. Bad luck on us. So I guess the key is don't buy a nine dollar umbrella because I can't get it to stay open. And and I know it locks because there's a lever here I'm pushing on that will let it unlock, but I can't get it up to the point where it does lock. Interesting thing it said that the ribs are fiberglass. So it would never rust. Oh. Okay, it locked. Huh? You know, I wish it had, maybe after you do it a few times, it'll, it'll work. The thing is, what I like about it is the price, that it's really lightweight, and there's a little uh, lever here now, so closing it should be easy. I don't know if you can even see it in this light, but, uh, let's see, you press it at the top, and it closes. You know, I'm going to say, if you're looking for a really inexpensive umbrella, I'm sure it's not going to fit back in that case, but we'll try. If it were wet, I always know, forget which way. Oh, you know what? This is good. Just remember the label side comes out. All right. Huh. You see the label side. You have the Velcro on the right side. And I didn't take any care folding it up. Uh, do it. Probably, you know what? I take the labels off it. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, now, someone in chat said, best $9 umbrella ever. It could happen. All right. I think it's pretty neat. I like that case. I did it. I like it, too. Uh, that's it. Uh, I do think it's worth it. And it's, uh, oh, do not get wet. No, okay. And <laughs> let me just get this bright again. And it does have a UV. Uh, let me see. There's something here about, you know, why is my finger not? All right, so it's 39 and a half inches. That, it's, a, it's a very it's decent pretty, pretty coverage. Pretty coverage. And... It is whatever that is. It's 30D and 250T. <laughs> okay. Um, UV protection, 99% uh, sun UV protection. I always need that. What, what more? 250T what more do you fabric. Want for a $9 umbrella. That's it. Don't open it indoors. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> that is great. So. You had asked before the show, do I lose my umbrella? Yeah, I I always, if I go in one direction and it's raining and I leave and it's not raining, I go home without an umbrella. <laughs> and I, I thought, I'm just going to buy some cheap ones. I, I have a similar issue with sunglasses. I leave my sunglasses everywhere and i have done the exact same technique you've done with umbrellas for sunglasses i went to amazon and bought some cheap ones so many of them that if i leave them around by accident doesn't matter um but hey i like this umbrella it's a uh, and as someone who in florida you got to use umbrellas often uh this one seems like a good cheap one yeah now uh Tankfish did give a suggestion. By the way, it's a uh, it's a uh, a dollar cheaper if you're logged in on Prime. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Tankfish did give a suggestion of a different umbrella, and just looking okay. at the Amazon, I kind of want you to maybe try this one out if you if you if you're still looking. Because look at this price, fifty cents less, but look at this little button. Oh. Oh you, my gosh! Have you seen the? the or have you, I mean, have you used these? I, I have one of those, but I think it was like twenty or twenty bucks or something. Yeah. So I'm curious. This is just for. Oh, tank this fish. is nice. Yeah, to see if this slightly less expensive one might have the auto. Uh, it does say automatic umbrella. Uh, may have I'm gonna, the auto. I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to buy one of them too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send you this link. Um, okay, so anyway, back to the one that you actually uh, looked at. Lots of colors, lots of options. Is there really anything else? Very nice, very nice travel case. Yeah, I like that um, travel case. Um, yeah, you can put the wet umbrella in it and zip it closed. It said waterproof case. Zip it closed and not worry that it's getting other stuff wet. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, and... The bag is the most annoying, like, especially while the umbrella is wet and you're trying to fit it back into the bag. And now yes. the bag is like a wet bag. It just doesn't know. I, I really like that case um, a lot better. A, a lot, a lot yeah. better. That's cool. Okie dokie. So, hang on. I went and got the bang and I got a, a, a ah. quarter. Now, now, what is it that you wanted? Okay, so test I it this multiple way. Multiple cameras like you do. Right, so what? just tell me, what does the readout say right now at the top? Right now, it is one... Uh, Can you reset it? Oh, you know what? I Hang on. Damn, I don't know. Let me see if I can... Uh... I did not read how to reset it. So we just have to deduct yeah, the dollar. Yeah, we'll just deduct it. So, so just dollar, try to we stick have, we it have in. We dollar fifty six. Okay. Dollar fifty six. So just try to stick it in and pull it out without letting it okay. go all the way through. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And see, does Put it here? Pushing, pushing, and then remove it. And I, I, I feel the things open. Did that in? Dollar sixty two. Okay, and it. Oh no, I forgot what. So it, was. it, it added. It added a quarter. It added a quarter, but it didn't go no. all the way through. No, I did it. But you know what? It 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 feels like it does go in halfway. Huh. Which would be 
the size of a dime, what, what, right? What, what, was the, what was the figure I just gave you? Was it a dollar sixty-eight? Dollar sixty-eight, yeah, I think. Okay, all right. So that this is the key. If I push it in a little bit, I can feel I feel the spring start to open, uh -huh. but it doesn't register. Okay. If I push it a little further in. Dollar eighty three. It it added it. You have to push it halfway in. What is it? Eighty three minus sixty. A dollar sixty eight. It should be twenty five. Twenty five cents. I don't. I have no idea how it's calculating those <laughs> coins. It's cool. It's working. Uh, yeah, to it's me, working. it seems like it would have to pass all the way through that sensor for it to know it what doesn't. coin, but it's not. Anyway. No. I'm curious. Okay. It has, okay. There's, there's no, there's no real. This is really just an exercise in my curiosity. But uh, that is so interesting. I'm very. It's cle yeah, yeah. It's clever. Yeah. Yeah. It's very clever. <laughs> yeah. Pastor Pete said it's a wise owl. It's a very yes. wise owl. There, there you go. There you go. That is so interesting. Um, okay. With that, it is time to head oh, into. Oh boy. Oh boy. Some crappiness. No, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie. We are taking a look at some peepers. Uh, I recorded a video earlier of it, so uh, let's take a look. Hey diggity, so we are back at it again with another Halloween decor gadget and we went to Spirit Halloween and got Ooh. the Peepin' Peepers. <laughs> uh, these, look, uh, these are LED lights that you can uh, use, see battery operated set of three flashing eyes. There's a little try me button, which you can click. Oh, how and funny. It hold, it will just kind of like show you it, it blinks, basically. Look, these ones on the back, are they even lighting up? Oh my gosh, they are. Look at that. You even you even get to view the other ones. They have eyelids that are slightly different than the ones on the front, as you can kind of see from the image. Uh, this is one of those really hard to get open blister packs. So I'm gonna cut it open and we'll be right back. Where's your zip Okie dokie. I have I, I had to pull it out. of the packaging. Do, do, do. Here they are. Um, so here is how this is all working out. There is a battery pack here. The battery pack looks like this. Uh, once it, uh, you know, when you get it out of uh, the packaging. Um, and so it's kind of interesting. It has like a little place to even like mount it, like a little screw hole there. There's another screw at the top and then that's where all the batteries come out. There's also a tiny little switch over on this side and uh, they ha that has three positions. It is off, T, which stands for timer, and on. And so right now they're in the on position and so they'll just go through their blink animation. As you can see, these are all daisy chained together from oh the battery gosh. pack to the first set of eyes, which does have this weird hook on the top. Each uh, eye has uh, a hook and it comes with one extra hook inside of uh, the, the product too. And then, so, you know, from one eye to the next eye to the next eye, and then that is how it all works out. The timer mode, which is that T uh, switch, um, will turn these eyes on for, let me make sure I got the timing correctly, uh, eight hours, and then it'll turn off for 16, which is just like the other uh, timer mode that we had seen with the other gadgets, where you want to start the timer right when it starts to get dark, and then it'll naturally just kind of work out on a 24-hour timer uh, from there. Um, so it's kind of nice that it has the, the timer mode um, as well. So really, it just comes down to the decor on if you like them or not, uh, and... Let's see, what is the distance between these eyes? I will say I kind of wish that they each had individual batteries instead of this weird daisy chain <laughs> situation. You know, it's like a like an actual uh, lighting string. I just kind of don't like it. Uh, but it looks like they, they're about six feet apart. Something like that would be a guess, five to six feet um, apart from each other. As you can see, it's a little bit 
easy to tangle. Anyway, uh, I think they're pretty adorable. I like them. Um, can't really knock them too hard. And uh, I like the look of them. So there you go. The Peepin' Peepers from Spirit Halloween. And as you just saw, I paid 20 bucks for the Peepin' Peepers. They're cute, yeah. Yeah, aren't they fun? I like the uh, different, um, oops, eye styles. So if you wanted to like, I feel like you could maybe get creative if you wanted to set up a scene with different type of monsters. You know, they could each have different types of eyes, which are kind of fun. And then um, I really like that timer method. Um, if, if you need to put a, a cheap timer in something, it's like yeah. the best method for yeah. You know, um, you can hang it in a tree and at exactly. night it would look really funny with branches with those weird lights. Yeah. I think like, uh, yeah, like a bush, this would be perfect in. Yeah, you yeah, just, oh, that's great. You know, use the hooks to hook it into a bush and then yeah. you have kind of leaves around it. And so you just <laughs> see these eyes, I think that would be a really, really cool effect. Um, and even, maybe even a pumpkin. Like I was kind of wondering if maybe you could like wedge it into a pumpkin and <laughs> Oh, and when you were carving your pumpkin, if you like carved around the eyes, anyway, there's a few ways uh, to get silly and creative uh, with it. Uh, here it is on their website, on Spirit of Halloween's website. Um, still twenty bucks. What's funny though is when you search for the peeping peepy peeping peepers flash and highlights, um, there's a lot that are uh, cheaper. Um, here we go. Actually, well, honestly, maybe not. Maybe this is something I saw earlier, and I have to take I have to take that back. Never mind. Um, yeah. So there you go. The peeping peepers from Spirit of Halloween. Uh, now, yeah, in, I, I don't like them. In New York, do they have Spirit of Halloweens? We like we don't have one this year. They they just rent an empty store for a month. Same thing uh, here. Same thing here. I just didn't know yeah. if the, they the, like really had a good location in New York. Yeah. New York. The great thing is they stay open one day past Halloween and everything is half price. Oh, so, that's where you go to get yeah, that, Exactly. Exactly. Uh, when, when they were here, I said to Dennis, let's find at least one thing that we think is fun to play with and we'll come back uh, the day after Halloween and buy it. That's great. That's great. So, yeah. I actually have, uh, because I didn't know if you had ever seen the inside of one, just, um, I went ahead and recorded the inside of our local one. And oh, okay. So I just kind of wanted to show it to you. Uh, now knowing that you know what they look like, uh, not as needed, but um, let me get, uh, because they had some insane, absolutely insane, um, Displays of some of the decorations are just absolutely like over the top, uh, crazy. Oh, so I wanted okay. to show you a few of yeah, them. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Here we are. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. So we can just talk over this. This is just the inside, just right at the beginning. And they had this weird like a midway game set up. Look at this. Oh uh, my gosh. Yeah. Look at that. And even press the yellow button. I didn't I didn't actually touch it. Uh, are they selling that? Yes. So these things are like for sale. So there's a bit Wow. There's a bit that's display and a bit that isn't. But like that weird puppet thing, that's for sale. And but not like the cardboard like yeah, uh, yeah. funky mirror thing, but like that bear. I think is one of the things is for sale. Yeah, oh it's two hundred and eighty dollars for that bear. And then they had even accessories that would work with their big accessories. So this crazy spider thing. Oh my gosh! Actually had an accessory. See this push in the coin to start the show. That is an automatic activation switch that will work with some of their other. Things, which I just oh thought was Lord. just absolutely crazy. So like that, cra that thing would just be the, the display for the store. Uh, the, the yeah, thing yeah. On the top. There you go. And that was basically yeah. I just want to show you just how crazy, and it's the exact yeah, same thing yeah, that you no, mentioned. Yeah, no, no. We have nothing. We have 
they were big stores, but n nothing on display of that magnitude. And then that's just the store just continuing to go more uh, costumes, obviously, and, and things yeah. like that, just kind of just to show around the corner. But I thought that was uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Um, so there you go. That is uh, the second to last of the uh, crappy corner gadgets. Uh, next week's episode, the Halloween episode, will be the fifth and final crappy corner gadget. So exciting. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. On, on. It's been a while since we had a video from Mo. So we have a video from Mo. There it is. Please keep up the great work. Today I bring you another gadget. This I just got in. It came in a two pack. I purchased uh, the two pack. It saved me $1. I already installed one in my son's room. It's a gamers uh, themed light switch. Yeah. Now the only Looks problem cool. with this light switch is that you have to have a rocker light switch. I'm going to show you what uh, that is right now, but pretty much this is the plate I removed from my son's room, and this is how it looks. This will be replacing this plate, and it's the big giant button one. I'll show you, and I'll kind of fast forward the installation process so you don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to make this video too long. Now you have to turn off the switch, the power from the uh, circuit breaker to, for safety reasons. Okay, let's go install it. Okay, so it's just the uh, the vanity plate type thing comes off. That is so cool. Oh, so it's just the buttons. Yeah, and those buttons look exactly like you know the arcade style buttons on those old arcade machines. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look like uh, I don't know, like uh, you see on uh, <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> Can't think of an old arcade. Now you turn the circuit breaker back on and voila. Isn't that cool? Ah! Oh, that's neat. Like I said, you have to keep the rocker on. This is just the plate cover, the outer part that you're replacing and that's it, not the whole light switch. For safety reasons, still turn off the circuit breaker. Oh, I see. Um, oh, I. So it's I just a plate with the buttons. It helps. Yeah. My son's here. He helped me. Thank you, son, for helping me. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now. Bye. That is so cool. That is neat. Now I, I didn't find the white one, but on Amazon I found the exact same thing with a black plate for ten bucks. Get that. Oh, uh, 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 still loading. There it is. Yeah, the black one for 10 bucks. And then it's they so make fun. another one with, I don't know what you would need four buttons for. They make a four button version. <laughs> well, sometimes you can have, you'd have like the lights on one and the fan might be on the next oh, switch over. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, just if you have a, a two. Like this, that like my room here. Well, I can't really show you, but it has one that is two, and one light oh, is oh, oh. the fan, and the other one goes to some plug in here somewhere, <laughs> and then I flip that one on, and that plug will turn on. So um, that's what those those two do. Um, this looks so fun. Like this is a great way to add. Oh, look, this one has all of the different. They have so many different variants. Um, it has this two pack of the white, red, and, and blue buttons. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh, okay. It even has this like purple and pink, double pink. Look at all these. It's crazy. This is a build your own, it looks like. Oh, my word. Look at that. That is cool. Yeah, I like this. This is neat. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, if, you, if you're building out a gaming space or a themed gaming room, this is just so, so cool. And, uh, and yeah, just like he said, uh, uh, Mo said, 
the electronic portion, the one that actually hits the wires of your home, doesn't change. You need the rocker. That is, you know, that part doesn't move. It's just the facade, the faceplate of, uh, of the gadget. Um, that is really, that's neat. I like yeah. it. That's a cool uh, accessory. Mo's great at finding those. Thanks, Mo. He, uh, he's great at finding stuff that he didn't know existed. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, how can people send in their videos? Uh, so we need more videos. Actually, that was the last video that I recall us having. So get to work, please. We need a video. Anything to do with a gadget. Old, new. Uh, we love it when you have some high-tech thing from 10 years ago that's laughable now. Make a little video, one to three minutes. Just use your phone, horizontal landscape, be in it if you want, or just make sure we can see the gadget and hear your voice. Uh, upload it on YouTube, and when you do that, there's a drop-down menu. You want to click unlisted if you want only people that you send the URL to to be able to see it and send that to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Uh, we're showing 99% of everything we get. You'll get the current issue of MAD, which is actually the December issue with 20 pages of material in it. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it. We need something for next Thursday. Do it now. Um, do it now. Don't only focus on the Halloween video. Yeah, for that. For, for that, next week. Yeah. Also, send in a video. We'd love it. A gadget warehouse. Yes. Uh, exactly. With that, let's move on to the letter. And this is a letter that fell through the cracks, so it's from August. It's from Ian Winkler uh, when we were celebrating uh, episode 2000. Dick and Chad, can't believe you reached episode 2000. I have been a fan since episode one. Ah. Even before that, I watched you with Leo on the screen savers. I remember my old car had no way to input uh, into the sound system. I used to burn the Daily Gizwiz episodes onto a reusable CD so I could listen to it on my commute. Wow. Boy, have things changed. Yeah. Again, congratulations and best wishes for many great, question mark, <laughs> great episodes in the future. Ian Winkler, and, and I'm calling him Ian because he says Dick rhymes with Brian. <laughs> so, Ian Winkler, thank you for your letter and, and for being such a fan. I agree. That goes back a long way, a long way. And talk, talk about dedication, burning episodes onto reusable <laughs> CDs. Yeah. And thankfully, times are a bit easier. <laughs> yes, Just getting exactly. the, getting the uh, podcast app on the on iPhone. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's funny because nowadays uh, we, have, we have, like, so much content to consume. Uh, back then, it was, like, hard to consume content in the car. <laughs> now, yes, it's yes. too easy, and there's too much uh, to listen to. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for sending that over. That yeah. is just... that was that was great, Ian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support of our show. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz, or you can head on over to our website, Gizwiz.tv. There, at the top of the website, is a Patreon tab, and uh, you can click that. Oh, and, and there's a big banner that'll take you to Patreon, or there's a tiny little link that'll take you to PayPal. If you want to watch the show live, well, we encourage you to do that. We record every, just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we're live, our website, gizwiz.tv, will update with the live stream. So please tune on in, join us over there at the website, gizwiz.tv. 
and uh, join the chat room. Chat along with all of the fantastic folks there. And if you don't watch it live, don't worry. We have episodes there after the fact uh, on our website, gizwiz.tv. All of those previous episodes are just right there or on our YouTube channel or uh, Apple Podcasts. Or our website, like, like I said. Uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you ever need a link or a description of some of the gadgets that we co- uh, or about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show, head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? This is uh, the, the game online. You gotta guess the gadget. Uh, and this is obvious to me uh, that these are uh, a new age of sandal. Uh, They are called the infinity sandal and they will last you (laughs) a lifetime. They never break. Uh, So if you think you know what this is, get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. Your final reminder to send in uh, your Halloween um, uh, videos and photos and letters and everything uh, to us uh, for next week's episode. And we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>